Yo, what's up everyone? Welcome to another episode of The Strength Classroom. Today I'm showing you my max effort upper body workout and I went with some floor pressing to a five rep max. Now I suck at floor pressing, blah, blah, floor pressing and this workout went way better than I, whoa, way better than I thought it would. Um, I'm pretty sure this is a PR. Like when I say I suck at floor pressing, I suck at floor pressing. Like I think I've been able to do I don't know, 260 for one before. And on this next set, you see I bang out 245 for five really easily. Like there's one, two, three, four. Like it was, that was really easy. I don't know how I've never done that much before. Weird. Well, my floor press is getting stronger. Everything must be getting stronger. Pressing wise. Bench wise, let's say. <laughs> then I did some drop downs. Three sets of 10. With, that looks like 195 pounds. I think that must be roughly 60% or 70% of my floor press max. So uh, yeah, those sets were fairly easy. Here's another one. I don't know if I should be having my legs straight on the floor press or having them up. I don't know if there's an advantage or disadvantage between the two. All I know is this felt comfortable. I really, my ass was staying down, so that means there was really no leg drive involved, which is good, because I see some people do floor pressing and then their ass is like flying off the bench. So there's no point of that. Then I did some rep out sets of incline dumbbell bench pressing. I did 80s for either 14 or 15 reps. I'm gonna keep going until basically I could do the hundreds for at least 10. I feel like that's the benchmark. If I, I don't wanna get any lower than 10 reps on these right now. So as long as the weight's going up, I will keep them in the rotation. And then I did some rest pause sets. Here are 70s. I did a set of 14 and then a set of six just to do sets of 20. Felt really nice. Chest was nice and pumped after I did this. And then I moved into some extensions. Now I like doing the extensions with my head off the bench. I feel like it's just more intuitive that way because you're able to go to the chin area, but you, you can actually go past where your chin would be if it was on the bench. So that's what makes it slightly different. You get an extra range of motion in a position where technically your body should not allow you to be in. If that makes any sense. I might make a video on this subject altogether. Because if I'm able to touch my chin here, that means I'm actually going through my face. Just an extra inch or two, but you know, it makes a difference. I think I worked up to a heavy-ish set of 12 right here. Or 15, I can't remember how many reps I did. I'd have to check my log if you're curious on that. And then I moved into some dumbbell rows. I think I did about four sets of 15 reps with that looks like 90, 90 pounds or 70 pounds. I can't really tell. Enough, enough to get a good stimulus. And then I just ended up with some, let's call it fluff work, let's be honest. Four sets of 25 on band rows and then four sets of 25 on band push downs and I like bands because ooh, I'm tired I need some sleep I like bands because they are you can do them quickly let's put it that way and I feel like they're less stressful than cable machines but harder at the same time they're not the same as machines they're just different one's harder in one way and one's harder in the other way so that's all there is today. If you like this video, please click that like button. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Share the videos with your friends if you think they'll like them as well. If you have a question for me, drop in the comments. And as always, class is dismissed.